you know, we're doubling our usable capacity and we're cutting our battery weight in half at yeah. the same time. So yeah. it's, it, it really is, it, it, it's gonna be a game changer for mm us. I'm Holly, that's Ray, and this is our home, Sabado. Subscribe to Tag Along on the Adventure. We're back in the USVI for a couple of reasons. One, our friends are hosting like a little concert off the back of their boat this afternoon, so we're gonna go check that out. And two, because we are moving forward with our lithium battery project. Yeah, we've we've uh, really been looking at lithium batteries for oh gosh, two years, maybe three yeah. years. Long time. Was it like two years ago or two and a half years ago we put the current batteries in? Um, so we currently have carbon foam. Yeah, we have Firefly batteries. Yeah, so we have six of those, um, and those worked really well for the first year. But um, the batteries on boats just take a beating. <laughs> so especially, especially lead acid base, which you know the Fireflies are carbon foam, but they're still a lead acid based yeah battery. and if, if you've seen our more recent videos i'm sure you've heard us do some complaining recently because it's just become like a day-to-day -day annoyance we've gotten to the point where you know we have to shut off the majority of our refrigeration units we need to run the generator to make water so we've officially decided that it's time to switch to lithium yeah you know we we looked at a lot of manufacturers and we had a pretty extensive list of requirements uh, for the batteries that we selected and and you know at the end of the day it really it came down to three manufacturers possibly four um, that we felt were reputable really high quality had US based operations um, which interestingly enough is important for at least one insurance company that I know of and then it just had the specifications that we were looking for and I guess we can we can, uh, the batteries that we felt met our requirements were um, Victron, Kilovolt and Lithionics. So we decided on those three because some of the criteria that we had for these batteries, weeded out a lot of the other companies, right? So we a wanted lot. specifically ABYC standards and the UL 1973. So do right. you want to talk a little bit about what those standards are and and why we valued them? Yeah, the, well, the ABYC standards, uh, it's it's a it's a, a newly I guess you'd say ratified standard. It was uh, out there in draft form for quite a while, and that's an electrical standard. That uh, that's used in the marine industry, and 
some of those requirements you need to have, for example, external communications, notifications of, you know, if you're, if you're going to run into any problems with the BMS, the battery management system, shutting the batteries off, and, and, and other stuff too. We'll put a link to this, some, some detail. We can't link the standard because you have to have a membership, but we can link some articles. And then the UL uh, 1973 is actually a really tough standard. It's uh, a, a lot of batteries have UL listings, but they don't have the 1973. And why that's important is because it's uh, it, it covers the entire battery. So it's you know vibration, fire. Uh, it, it it just it, it's a all-encompassing standard for the entire battery, not just the components of the battery. Um, so we you know we looked at we we were really focusing on those and. And then and just build quality. You know, there's a lot of batteries out there that uh, that people are using that are probably are probably okay, um, but you, there just isn't a lot of information on the manufacturer or the warranties are only as good as the company that's backing it up. And so, you know, you, you'll see a lot of a, a lot of uh, ba uh, lithium battery manufacturers changing their names and, and I'm not too sure why, why they're doing that. I have my ideas, but, um, and so we really, we, we needed to find a, a, a solid, reputable company that had US-based contacts. We looked at those three that I mentioned and at the end of the day, um, we decided that the battery that offered the most value was uh, the kilovolt batteries. Uh, they have a 300 amp hour battery and it has external communications. It's got a, a Bluetooth app that gives you the detail on each individual cell. It's, just, it's a high quality battery that's made with high quality components. And there's some, some uh, blog posting, some teardowns of these batteries to show exactly what's inside that we'll also link uh, down below. And, and so we, we reached out to, to Kilovolt and... With the intent to purchase these batteries. <laughs> right. we, we reached out and, and I had a few, you know, a few questions and what really stood out was their tech support replied usually the same day, always within 24 hours and they had a lot of... Um, even on the weekends. Even on the weekends. They had a lot of really good that airplane. By the airport. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, their tech support, you know, replied right away, and uh, they had a solid knowledge of uh, not only the batteries, but also uh, the components that go into a system around a lithium battery. So we decided we're gonna we're gonna buy these batteries, and I sent, you know we're in the USVI. So we sent them a message asking if uh, they could arrange for shipping to us here, and you know we would uh, and just you know give us an invoice. And they actually replied back to us and asked if we were interested in you know a partnership where uh, we install these batteries and share our experience and uh, and in exchange for that they're uh, providing the batteries for free which is fantastic especially since that's what we were going to yeah. buy anyway. <laughs> just lined up really <laughs> yeah. nicely for us. And um, the, the company that uh, owns and distributes uh, Kilovolt is Alt-E and they're a, a, an online store that sells the batteries, Victron gear, uh, solar panels, They're, they've been around for a long time, good, a good company. And through the discussions that we've had with, with uh, that group of, of folks, we've also agreed uh, and they've agreed to, uh, to have us be affiliates of, of that company. So that's exciting. We're, we're happy to, to bring information about that out to, to all you guys. And so yeah, we're we're working right now. Uh, we've got the batteries. We're working with professionals in the field to help design a system around these batteries. Because no matter what the battery manufacturers tell you about being drop-in yes. replacement batteries, there is They're no nuts. such thing as a drop-in <laughs> replacement lithium batteries on it for for a boat that has lead acid. You need to to have your charging systems uh, set correctly. You need to have your wiring, your fusing. It's beyond uh, what 
I feel comfortable doing, and frankly, what our insurance company feels comfortable yeah. with us doing, uh, they want professional installation. So, uh, yeah, so I think over the next few months, mm -hmm. we're going to be getting that system designed and uh, installed. And then also as part of that, we're, we're going to be upgrading our, our solar system um, and uh, probably some components in our galley as well. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think... Um you want to talk through a few of the plans that we've dreamt up where our current batteries are in our starboard engine compartment yeah which is a, a horrible place for batteries terrible uh, because of the heat <laughs> um and that's probably what led to our current batteries um dying so quickly yeah. so yeah uh, i'm gonna give up uh drawer space in our cabin <laughs> the drawer that he keeps <laughs> all of his clothes <laughs> so i'm yeah. gonna do some rearranging down there and so we're going to convert that space to uh, batteries and chargers are going to go in there. Mm -hmm. our we're talking about getting rid of the wind turbines. Well, and that's the that you know that's the important thing with with you know a system around lithium batteries is you've you've got to make sure your charging sources are compatible. And although our wind turbines can be made compatible, the effort that that's required is just it's really not worth it and it's it, you know s similar to our to alternators you're gonna find a lot of people on the internet internet boat electricians <laughs> uh, telling you that oh yeah the, it's fine just to connect the alternators directly up to lithium batteries and I just highly encourage folks here that are undergoing a project like this to, to talk to an actual marine uh, electrical expert uh, none of the internet experts are going to give you warranties or <laughs> liability coverage for uh, their advice. So, you know, it, so, so yeah, we're looking at, at it's extensive modifications. Yeah, we want to do everything that we can to give these batteries what they need to thrive. <laughs> yeah, and it's, you know, we're, we're really excited. You know, we're doubling our usable capacity and we're cutting our battery weight in half at yeah. the same time so yeah. it's it, it really is it, it, it's going to be a game changer for mm -hmm. us um you know electric galley is going to you know not not, not completely fully. but um but i am going to get rid of that freaking oven <laughs> yeah hate that thing <laughs> so yeah we're, we're we're looking forward to it and i think um and we're gonna you know share with you the entire process mm -hmm. from design to uh, installation and then uh, continued follow-up um, on how things are uh, are progressing yeah and and we plan on you know letting you guys know the electrician that we use there's all of the details yeah we'll we'll, we'll share everything um, so yeah cool yeah let's do it all right <laughs> What up? How are you? Good. Hello, Marjane. Hello, boy. Thanks for coming out. Good to see you, Mike. Good to see you, Mike. I'll see you later. Can you find you at a second hand store? Fast, very quickly. And if there are forms, we're going to wait here for us. Sounds so cool, it's a fun little...